Hi guys, it's Rose from the Philippines coming to you uh, with another set of tutorials in making this photo frame keychains. So, today I'm gonna make this tutorial a little bit different since most of these photo frames have the same side parts and back part. I will only show you how to make the front part with the designs uh, and make another video for just the back part. This will also save time and be more convenient for us. So for this project, we will need some nylon monolin string. Uh, for the project, I'm going to use about 1 meter and 1 arm in length of this string. So that will be enough for the whole project. You will also need acrylic rough beads of the colors of your choice. These acrylic rough beads are 6mm in size and you will also need a pair of scissors. Guys, so now we're going to make the front part of this photo frame keychain with the butterfly design. You can refer to the made ones or you can refer to the diagram that we made. Okay, you need to cut your string for about 1 meter and 1 arm. In order to make this project, it will be enough for the whole project, okay? So, we're gonna start from this bottom part first. Form the uh, the wing that is in the bottom right side. We have three colors that we need to use for this. Uh, the first color for the wings, then the body is going to be black or any color. And then the neutral color or the color for the side part is going to be white. So what we need to do is always how we start it. Insert or put two white ones on the right string. I'm going to use a blue one for the wing part. Put one on the left, a blue one, and salikop. So you need to hold your string. As I always say, so that the first end is on your right hand and the second end is on your left. Silicop is a term that I always use wherein you insert your left, your right string going to the left, the left string going to the right, align the two ends, slide that one bead to the rest of the bead to form this cluster of four. So that is going to be the the wing of the butterfly. So this is also a five by five cluster of four. Okay. So next is we're gonna put one white on your right, one blue one on your left string. And then salik up with the white one. Okay. So this is the second cluster for the first row. Put one white one on the right string. A blue on the left. And salik up with the blue one. gonna form the upper wing for the right side composed of blue ones so put one blue on the right one blue on the left and then silico with a blue one so this is gonna be the fourth cluster okay now we have that so, since we're in the fifth cluster of four, what we need to do is we're gonna put two blue ones on the right string and then side up with a blue one. So, now we're going sideways. I'm sorry if the camera loses focus. So, now we have this. Okay? This is the lower wing. This is the upper wing. 
Now we're in the side parts. We can turn our reference and our diagram. So for the second row, we're gonna put the antenna. You can see there's an antenna that was black. I'm going to substitute with the gray one. So put two gray ones in the right string and then silly copy the blue one. I have to catch up with you after this. Guys, my editor has a limit of 5 minutes per video for me to merge it. So I have to make my videos within that limit so I can merge it. So now that we are here, in the second row, this is the antenna. We're going to insert your left string to the one adjacent blue bead. to do is put a gray one on the right and then a blue one select up with the blue one so this gray ones is now the start of the body of the butterfly so insert your left string to this one adjacent blue bead going to put one gray one on the right and then silica up with the blue one okay I hope that you were following you can follow through and I hope that my instruction is clear so now I have this insert your left string to the one adjacent bead one adjacent blue bead And then put one gray one on the right. So you can substitute this with black also or other color of your choice. And then silica with the blue one. Okay, and we're in the last part of the second row so Insert your left string to this one adjacent blue bead and turn your work. You can also turn the reference so you can see what you're doing. Actually, <laughs> okay, so now we need to put one white on the right string and then say you up with the white. Then we're going to the third row, which is composed of the rest of the body of the butterfly. So now we have that. What we need to do is put two white ones on the right string, and then we're gonna select up with the gray one. Okay. I forgot a while ago that my limit is within 5 minutes. So now I have this. The middle part. Insert your left string to this one adjacent gray bead. And then put one gray one on the right. Then you copy the gray one. So now we have that. I'm gonna catch up with you after this. Okay, so now that we're here, I'm gonna insert your left string to this one and she sent gray bead. Put one gray on the right, silica with the gray one. Okay. 
switch your love stream to this one adjacent gray bead Try not to wobble the camera. Insert or put one gray one on the right and then select up with the gray one. So for the last cluster, we're gonna have a separation for the antenna. So Switch your left thing to this one adjacent gray bead and turn your work. To separate the antenna, we're gonna put white first on the right and then silico with the gray one. And then we're gonna start the fourth row, which is composed of the left and left bottom and upper left wing so put one k1 on the right stain and then put also one blue for the right and then silico with the blue one oops keep time going okay so now i have this Search your left string to this one adjacent gray bead. Put one on the right, a blue one, and silico with the blue. Search your left string. To that one adjacent gray bead put one blue on the right silico with the blue one Switch your left string to this one adjacent gray bead. Put one blue on the right and select up with the blue one. Switch your left string to this one adjacent white bead. And then turn your work. Okay. So to end this, we're gonna put uh, one white on the right string and then a blue one for Salico. So that's the end of the fourth row. Okay. So we're now in the last row or the fifth row have this what we need to do is what we need to do is put two white ones on the right string and then form the the wing part so that is silico with the blue one okay sorry if I keep covering the item Search your left string to this one adjacent blue bead. And we need to separate the upper and lower wing with a white one. So put one white on the right and silico with the white to separate the upper and lower wing. We have that. And search your left string to this. One adjacent blue bead. Put a white on the right string and then blue for the silico. And 
insert your left string to just one adjacent to bead. Put one blue one on the right and then silicone up with the blue one. Insert your left string to this one adjacent to bead. So this will be the last cluster. Put one blue on the right. And no. What we need to do is what we're going to do is put this blue one on the left instead of the right, okay? And then select up with the blue. Because here is where we're gonna start to form the side parts. So it needs to be in this. I made a mistake for the first design. And this one is going to be there's going to be a hole on this upper side. So this is the butterfly design, the second design. I'm go um I'm going to teach you how to make this two hearts next and just set aside this butterfly design so that I can make a separate tutorial for the side and back parts which are all the same for all of those photo frame keychains okay catch up with you